Hello, and welcome to my presentation. I am hoping to be able to give you an overview of the Dominica Citizenship by Investment Program and the benefits it brings to Chinese investors. I am Ambassador Emmanuel Nantan, and I have been the head of the Dominica Program from 2015. As a proud Dominican citizen, I am a huge proponent of the Dominican Citizenship by Investment Program and its values as a tool to help Dominica reach its full potential. The history of our program. The Dominican Citizenship by Investment Program has been in operation since March of 1993, making it one of the world's oldest and most successful economic citizenship program. The program was implemented following Dominica's independence from Europe when the government was trying to attract more foreign direct investments uh, into our country. Since then, investors from around the world, some seeking a better quality of life and others seeking wide ranging travel rights have obtained citizenship of Dominica and used those uh, to their benefits. Dominica now has a growing program and now has a growing diaspora in the Middle East, in Asia, in Africa, and of course, uh, in China. The majority of our citizens have been contributed to Dominica's development. Dominica attracts individuals from far and wide due to the program international renown and reputation. The Dominica Citizenship by Investment Program is widely recognized as the world's most successful program of its kind. For four consecutive years, the program has been ranked by the CBI Index published by the Financial Times of London Professional Wealth Management Magazine that ranks the world's act active citizenship investment programs against key investor priorities. And the Financial Times have ranked us consistently for four consecutive years as the best program in the world. The reasons for our success, you may ask, what are the reasons for uh, Dominica being successful? And my answer would be simple. In 2020, the addition of the CBI index, Dominica achieved full max in six categories. The first, Dominica was praised for its, for its affordable minimum investment threshold. Under the program, investors can make a direct monetary investment of only $100,000 and be eligible uh, to be a citizen of Dominica once they, uh, they, their due diligence has been uh, recognized uh, as credible and they have passed that test. If uh, we have the option of real estate, but that we will come to later. Secondly, Dominica was praised for its streaming application process, its streamlining application process. Applicants to Dominica program do not need to complete a travel or residence requirement, either before, during, or after the process. However, we would never seek to discourage our new citizens from visiting Dominica. On top of this, Applicants need not complete a language requirement, a mandatory interview requirement, or a culture or history test. So we ranked uh, very well and with uh, maximum points on those. Importantly, the CBI index recognized Dominica's commitment to constructive and conducting stringent due diligence on applicants. So our due diligence uh, have been very important for us. And in our process, we, have been, we got maximum points for that. When we do our due diligence in Dominica, we only accept applica applications from recognized, uh, due uh, recognized agents app approved and appointed by the government of Dominica. Dominica due diligence is the cornerstone of our CBI pro program, as Dominica has duty to protect and preserve the safety of the international community. As such, an initial stage, Dominica ensures that persons who have been denied a visa free to a country which Dominica has visa free traveled with are not eligible to apply for our program. In addition to this, we also have a multi-layer due diligence uh, process. I mentioned before that the, your, your agent must uh, vet you and, and provide that. When, once that is done, we got the applications, then they are sent to, to uh, our regional partners to cross-check against any international uh, checks. That is uh, for any security or financial crimes, the person uh, will be monitored for anywhere and all around the world. Then, we send the file to uh, a recognized due diligence firm, and we use four of the best firms uh, that offer due diligence uh, in the world to do on the ground, boots on the ground, due diligence uh, checks for us on every applicant. 
Finally, Dominica was recognized for its strongest uh, certainty of product, thanks to stability and adaptability and the positive global reputation. The impact of the program, in addition to receiving rec recognition of the CBI index in 2019, published by PricewaterhouseCoopers, found that the Citizenship by Investment program had touched almost every aspect of life and every individual in Dominica. In Dominica, for example, Citizenship by investment funds are being used uh, to take care of the elderly in Dominica in a program which is called the Yes We Care program. Citizenship by investment funds are the sole driver of Dominica's housing revolution, which was initiated following uh, the devastation of the island in 2017 by Hurricane Maria. The government is now building 5,000 climate resilient homes, and those have been given to people around the country, across the country, uh, for for to ensure that our citizens have proper, safe, and secure home because we live in the hurricane belt. Our program uh, in Dominica uh, provides funding for our healthcare program. The government is currently building uh, two hospitals and 12 health centers around the country. And that has been done uh, thanks to funds of the, of the citizenship investment program. Funds from the program are also being used for the construction of a geothermal plant, which will provide clean, renewable energy to 90% of Dominica, which we, which we may be able to export to our neighboring uh, countries or territories neighbors as Guadeloupe and Matnik. In Dominica, in addition to helping Dominica meet its sustainability goals and to improve its healthcare system, the program has contributed to the creation of numerous Dominic, uh, jobs in Dominica, including the construction sector in tourism. The program has also been used to, uh, to fund our airport and uh, to continue infrastructure development for roads, bridges, and schools uh, in Dominica. Then you may ask, what are the benefits to our Chinese uh, brothers and sisters, our Chinese investors? The Dominica Citizenship by Investment Program has wide ranging benefits for our Chinese friends. Visa free access and or visa on arrival is available to over 150 countries. A plethora of business opportunities and a number of incentives are, for businesses are available. Life in a country with a stable democracy and a government that respects the rule of law. Access to high quality life and to abundant natural beauty of the nature island of the Caribbean. We in Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean, it's the, the, the nature island of the world. And our Chinese investors can come to Dominica, they can visit, they can stay, they can buy property and they can operate. In fact, our program uh, had a very strong Chinese base from very, this very beginning. So uh, we are developing a very healthy Chinese uh, community in Dominica. And a number of Chinese investors are involved in business in Dominica, be it in construction, be it uh, in, in sales, be it in manufacturing, be it uh, in water, bo water bottling, uh, be it in, in uh, supermarkets uh, or elsewhere. There are just so many businesses available in Dominica being done by Chinese brothers and sisters. So what are the incentives, uh, investment options? Under the Citizenship by Investment Program, applicants have two choices. Either a direct contribution to government, as I mentioned before, and I said for a single applicant, that would be $100,000, $100, or an investment in a pre-approved real estate project. That could be uh, a hotel, and there are a number of hotels available uh, or, or being constructed in Dominica. As a matter of fact, in Dominica, we are building five five-star hotels, all being done with funds from the Investment Program. Most of those are international brands that our investors uh, would know. We just completed uh, the Kempinski. It's open now and running a very, very beautiful hotel in Dominica in Portsmouth. And uh, the Kempinski is that's Europe's oldest luxury chain of hotel, opened their first chain in the Caribbean uh, in Dominica just two years ago. Uh, we also have Marriott, the world's largest chain of hotel, opening uh, constructing the Marriott uh, Anichi Resort again in Portsmouth. Not too far down the road, we are doing the Hilton uh, Tranquility Beach Resort. Uh, Hilton collection is being done uh, out there here in Dominica. So these are, are names that you know. We have opened 
our own local, very luxurious secret bay and our own very natural, very uh, uh, well-known, very well-regarded uh, ecotourism product, the Jungle Bay, that is already open. So a main applicant would pay $100,000 for a direct government application. That's under the fund option. If you want to add your spouse, your spouse would have $50,000. And for us, uh, you could add your children, you could add your parents or the parents of your, of your spouse. You could add your siblings, that is, uh, your brothers and sisters, once they are uh, under 18 uh, or under 25 and uh, they, they not, they're not, not married and don't have children of their own. You could add your brothers and sisters. Because to us in Dominica, the family is important. And when uh, we know that our citizens, our investors are looking to take care of the families, particularly in these hard COVID times, we keep the families together. Under the real estate option, a minimum investment uh, is $200,000. No matter the number of family members included in the application, the money is given to, uh, to the relevant real estate developer as part of a standard sale and purchase uh, transaction. It does not go to the government treasury. So the funds go to a private sector development. The Anichi Resort, Marriott, Kempinski, Jungle Bay, uh, Tranquility Beach, all those you could invest in, the funds are yours. You could sell your shares uh, in three years or in five years. If you sell your shares after five years, you would recoup your money, yes, but the person buying for, uh, from you after five years will also be liable to be a citizen of Dominica once they themselves go through the, our stringent due diligence process. So instead of the government collects a fixed government fees also on the, when you go through the real estate option, and that's for the main applicant, it's just $25,000. For a family of four, not including uh, your brothers and sisters or siblings, with $35,000. A family of six persons, not including siblings, would be $50,000. A family of seven persons or more, not including siblings, would be $70,000. Siblings from uh, must be zero to 17. You, if you, you apply on the real estate, it would be $25,000. And if your sibling is uh, 18 to 25, you have to pay a fee of $50,000 for your sibling over 18 to 25 under the real estate option. In Dominica, we strive to better our citizenship investment program year upon year. In an interest of ensure that Dominica maintains a commitment to due diligence and to provide an extra layer of protection for our citizens, Dominica is in the process of phasing out mass immutable uh, passports in favor of biometric passports. And that should be in effect within a few months uh, from now. That is during the course of this year, 2021. Additionally, Dominica is embarking on a campaign to increase its visa-free travel destinations by 25% by 2021. My brothers and sisters, I am saying that you as Chinese investors have an ideal opportunity to invest in a program that is well-known. Our program has been in place for almost 30 years. Our program is well known. Our program has seen investors who have children and grandchildren who themselves uh, become citizens of Dominica. We tell you of a program where our processing is quick. We do it within three months. The threshold for investment uh, is very, very short, uh, very low, just $100,000 if you go to direct government fund. I, as someone involved in the program for a number of years, I take great pleasure and great pride in welcoming you to invest in Dominica, to welcoming you to be citizens of Dominica, a country that has a commitment to natural beauty, a country that has a commitment to being the world's first climate resilient country, a country where we respect the rule of law, a country where we are in safe in nature, where we live in line and in tune with nature. We're able to manage so far uh, our, our, in this hard COVID time, uh, we are able to manage uh, all our cases. So far, knock wood, we have, no, we have not had, had a single death uh, in Dominica. Our cases are down to single digits, maybe just one or two, not more than five. We do this because we are a committed country. We are, our economy has been one of the fastest growing uh, in the region for the last three years. I thank you for listening to me. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to appeal to you to reach out to invest in Dominica, to take care of yourself, to an investment in the, our program is an investment for you, is an investment for your children, 
and investment for your future generations. I thank you for being here with me and I wish you a very good day. Thank you. Share, share.